Hi Chargers, we are so excited to have you back on campus for learning and for those of you who may be new to Wilcox, hi, welcome, hello, my name is Gabby Savias and I am your guys' ASP president for this year. ASP created this video in hopes of being able to explain to you guys what adjustments and changes have been made here at Wilcox specifically for in-person learning. We will try to make school as enjoyable and as manageable as possible for you guys, but definitely just make sure to make the most of it and to have fun. For freshmen, don't be afraid to reach out to any teachers or peers if you have any questions. And for returning students, definitely make sure to lend a helping hand to the freshmen. Everyone, remember to stay socially distanced. And thank you guys. Bye-bye. If you do not feel well at any time, please let your teachers know and they will direct you on where to go. When school reopens, all students will adapt to a new schedule. We will start off the week with Monday being 100% distance learning, and Tuesday through Friday will be hybrid learning and block schedule. Aside from Mondays, classes will now be 10 minutes shorter than the original schedule in order for in-person students to have ample time getting to class, using the restroom, and adhering to all sanitary procedures. Lunch will be 45 minutes long. Wear your mask properly at all times. Your nose and mouth must be completely covered with little to no openings at the top and side of the mask. Tell your parents to drop you off at a spot nearest to your first class. For example, if you have English in the B building, an optimal drop-off spot for you would be the theater or cafeteria parking lot. Bike racks will be available in front of the administration office and near the main gym. If you drive, you may park your vehicle in any open parking spot as long as you're not blocking anyone. Here are the materials you should bring to school. A textbook if you don't have an online copy, notebooks for all your classes, your Chromebook and a charger if you're low on battery, writing utensils for taking notes, an extra face mask just in case your mask gets dirty or lost, earbuds or headphones for your class meet, and a water bottle so you can stay hydrated throughout the day. Please remember to keep a six feet distance from you and your peers at all times. Each student opting for in-person learning will receive a bathroom pass. Due to social distancing guidelines, we have sectioned off every other stall and sink in the restrooms. When entering the bathroom, hang your pass on one of the hooks on the door. If all hooks are occupied, the restroom is full and you will have to wait your turn. Remember to remove your pass when you leave. Though the bathrooms will remain open, you will not have access to lockers and water fountains. Be sure to bring everything you need for the day in your backpack. There will be a bucket of sanitary towelettes when you enter your classroom. Make sure to grab one or two to wipe down your desk and plexiglass shield. Your shield is not attached to your desk, so we'd recommend temporarily removing it from the desk slots and flattening it so you can wipe it down more thoroughly. Be sure to clean both sides of the plexiglass just for your own personal safety. Finished, insert the sides of the plexiglass shield back into the desk slots, take your seat, and get your class materials ready. You can keep the sanitary wipe for later when you leave class. Teachers will continue to conduct class via Google Meet in order to simultaneously instruct all students, whether they are learning on campus or from home. Classrooms will have around 10 to 15 desks depending on the room capacity with at least 6 feet distance between each desk.
If there are not enough desks in the classroom, some students will attend class in designated learning hubs, which are other school facilities equipped with Wi Fi and additional desks. Bring headphones or earbuds every single day, as you will be needing them for all your classes. You are allowed to bring and drink water in class, but you cannot eat. When class ends, repeat the same procedures you did when entering your classroom. Take down your plexiglass shields, wipe down both sides of the plexiglass with your sanitary towelette, and clean your desk. Feel free to grab another wipe if you wish. Then, pack up your things, grab some hand sanitizer, and exit the classroom in a manually yet socially distanced fashion. Hallways will only be going in one direction. There will be one set of stairways going up and another set going down. In case you get confused, we have included plenty of signs and taped arrows to help you navigate through campus. Likewise, there will be designated entrances and exits for each building with visuals to help you figure out which is which. Lunch will be after 5th period on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and after 6th period for Wednesdays and Fridays. If you do have a 7th period and wish to eat lunch at home, we would actually encourage that. Then, you will also be taking 7th period at home. If you are staying on campus, you will get a free, pre-packed school lunch at the cafeteria, or you can bring your own lunch. Remember to social distance in the lunch line. There will be stickers on the ground marking the appropriate space you should have with the people next to you. Upon receiving your lunch, you will sit at the tables in the quad, one person per small, squared table, and two people on opposite ends of the long tables. When you finish eating, clean up your trash and throw it away in the trash cans. For students taking PE, you will not change out because the locker room is closed. Wait for specific instructions from your PE teachers. If you ever feel mentally drained during school, feel free to visit our school's wellness center in the portable cluster behind the main gym. Your mental health is so important and you should always make it a priority to take care of yourself. Pickups will be either at the cafeteria or theater parking lots. Be sure that you leave campus promptly. If you receive school bus transportation in previous years, or if you have a new student who needs transportation, please apply for a bus pass on the Transportation Department website. 